Hello guys, welcome to Project Tutorial channel. My name is Pane and today in this video we are going to talk how we can create a virtual machine on Oracle Cloud. As we have um, already seen in a previous video, how we can create an account on Oracle Cloud. And as you know, Oracle Cloud provides two virtual machines, absolutely free and for lifetime. So that's it, and we are going to use always free eligible virtual machine so i have logged into my server as you can see so uh, dashboard and now you can see here the launch resources so we are going to click on compute and first of all you are going to give the name here so i am going to uh, host a WordPress website so i am going to give the my uh, website name and uh, placement to leave as it is and you have to select image and share so click on edit by default it's selected oracle linux so we are going to change it now in this section you can see here uh, the different type of images so we are going to select canonical ubuntu and the os version should be uh, 20 or 4 the latest one and image will also the latest one. Okay, then select click on select image. Okay, and uh, there you can see the uh, networking section. Okay, you can select the existing virtual cloud network or create a new cloud network. If you select the existing one, you have to edit your uh, the existing virtual network and you have to add some. Uh, uh, firewall rules that is uh, for HTTP or HTTPS request. So I'm going to show you how we're gonna add the firewall tool in few in this videos in later part. So stay tuned for that. So uh, we are going to leave as it is by default. So now you can generate. Um, new key pair from here or you can upload the pub key if you have or you can also test the sss key public key if you have so uh, uh, you can generate by using footage and for now i am going to uh, generate a key pair for me using the system so select on private key to download the private key and the save public key and then uh, also the boot volume boot volume uh, is specified is 46.6 GB save as it is by the default and click on create ok Okay, we got the IP address here and the username system you can see there and now the system is running so uh, that's it for this uh, system creation or you can see the virtual machine launching so now uh, we are going to connect with our uh, virtual machine so just copy the IP address and uh, open the terminal uh, if you are using Windows then you can use PowerShell so our key is in the downloaded folder you can see here SSH key so I am going to change the directory cd downloads and execute the command SSH hyphen I then double quote and you have to select the ssh key so ssh and click on the tab button on the keyboard it will automatically insert the key and then 
type the system username ubuntu at the rate then ip address okay then hit enter okay ah you have to save the fingerprint yes now as you can see we have logged into our system so uh, like now if you are want to host your wordpress website or any type of website you have to uh, add the security rules so uh, for that what need to do again come to the uh, instance dashboard scroll down and you can see the primary primary b and i see and click on subnet you can also provide the uh, network security group if you want the both are uh, work as same so i am going to just add the subnet so click on subnet and select uh, as you can see the security list you have select the default one and in my case i have already added the security rules you can see here uh, tcp port number is at p and port for 3 so in your case if you are first time installing so it could be not in here so i am going to show you how you can add the role so first of all i am going to remove this two okay uh, in your case you will see only these three rows so you need to add more two more so click on in case role uh, the source type will be CIDR, then type the source CIDR that is 4 times 0, 0 0.0.0.0 0 .0 forward slash 0. Okay, that means uh, ev every IP address can access the system, and protocol will be TCP, the uh, destination port time will be FT and 443 now at 84 http request and 443 will be https request okay then click on add in place rule and scroll down you can see the two ports you have added okay that's it so now uh, in our next video i am going to show you how you can install wordpress okay so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our channel and if you have any issues please comment thanks for watching have a nice day